What a feel, mate. Absolute beaut of a day. We've had some sick weather in Manchester recently. For a change, mate, it's about time. It's that three days of summer that we have once a year. Um, this room's a mess, mate. Do you know what? Rule one of vlogging. Don't show people your dirty room, man. It just makes you out to be a not on point guy. And that is not, it's just not the impression you want to give off in general, is it? I'm just just light off because there's no need for that. I'm going to show you me clutter, man. So I've got my bird's jacket. It's just because birds leave shit here. Yeah, I think deep down in the, in the recesses of the mind, they're thinking, uh, well, if he gets another bird in, like, if he's cheating on me, then at least, like, I've got all my, like, items around the gaff that'll blow him up. That's, that's the, that's the deep down thought one. I've got a load of boohoo shit. They're not paying me to show you that. They are paying me to post on Instagram, though. I've got some books on. I'll show you some books, because I was emptying out a bag that I had up there. And to use it, well, that's where I was keeping all my books, so I'm going to show you some decent ones. Uh, we got The Alchemist. That's pretty like basic bitch, like do what you love, love yourself. People rave about The Alchemist, but I don't think it's that sick to be honest, because it's like, it's just a bit basic for me. I don't know, obviously I'm, I'm a sophisticated, like wise guy, so thinking fast and slow, that's good. You need a bit of patience, man, because sometimes I get a bit bored with like just, just pure informative like stuff. Mm. I don't know, it's good once you get into it. Richard Branson, I've got that one and another one. Screw it, let's do it. They're actually pretty good reads, man. I like autobiographies. I don't think they're, you know, I don't think they're bad reads. Actually, sometimes um, who else was good? Alan Sugar. I don't read this shit for the, you know, business knowledge and shit. Knowledge, but I just think they're interesting. Sometimes that's the best shit, man. Oscar Wilde. Picture of Dorian Gray. That's a belter, mate. Yeah, the way of the superior man. David Data. Right, there's bits at the start of every fucking. There's bits at the start of every chapter. Wait there, I'm gonna find a good one. One sec. Listen to this shit. Most men make the error of thinking that one day it will be done. They think, if I can work enough, then one day I could rest. Or, one day my woman will understand something and then she'll stop complaining. Or, I'm only doing this now so that one day I can do what I really want with my life. The masculine error is to think that eventually things will be different in some fundamental way. They won't. It never ends. As long as, he, as, long as life continues, the creative challenge is to tussle, play, and make love with the present moment while giving your unique gift. That's a good paragraph right there. Right. I, I, I fuck with this. I fuck with that paragraph a lot. You know, the whole lack of uh, an end point, you know, it's quite an illusion, isn't it, the the sense that there is one. Yeah, I feel like something you need to wake up to and that's that's a real uh, a real defining factor in how well you're able to appreciate the moment. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. I wasn't trying to fucking do self-help on you. I'm not trying to administer self-help on you. I was just going through the book. Basically, there's paragraphs at the start of each chapter. You could just read them pretty much and fuck the rest off. And also, the first like the first like one or two like proper sections are good and then it starts talking about like jizzing and stuff and weird ass like it just starts talking it's, it gets dead weird about sex and like I actually think the guy is a mad guru fuck and he got halfway through writing the book and then got twisted up in his own ego and thought I'm just gonna come across as like some fucking Jedi sensei motherfucker and no one's a Jedi sensei, motherfucker. Not even Joey, motherfucking D. Alright, let's have a look at some more books. We've got a rework. Businessy shit that I stole from a... Stole from a uh, library and then never implemented any of it whatsoever. Man's Search for Meaning. That's pretty good. It'll make you appreciate how easy your life is a little bit. Uh, the War of Art. That's pretty good too. It makes you, you know, think realistically about how badly you procrastinate. Uh, and then you'll probably procrastinate more, but still, doesn't matter. You can't really help it. Uh, will Durant, greatest minds and ideas of all time. That's all right as well, it's pretty good. It talks about some clever people and some clever shit that they said. Anyway, that was a sidetrack into like some books and stuff. What else are we doing today? Don't know, let's go in the kitchen. 
Oh no. Oh. Yeah, we got some super mega fucking beautiful scenes going on at the moment. Last three days in Manchester has just been just been a dream, climate-wise. You know, you see the spring in everyone's step. You see how much difference it makes. You know, people are just, just warm and in the sun. It's like a truly uplifting thing in it. People barbecuing. You know. Generally having a good time. Including me. Saturday today. The plan is well I already started the plan, I've done a few hours work this morning. Mike and I are doing a bit of a summer shred ebook kind of thing. Call up with some clients and shit. And then uh, I'm meeting Tommy B and the boys later. I'm gonna go head over to my mate's new tattoo studio in Chester. So I might vlog bits with the gang. I might not. We'll see. See you in a bit. Bye. 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 That wide angle one. That wide angle plus natty light. My arm is not like that in real life. Anyway, we're nailing some pre workout because we got a little leg session to get through on this fine Saturday day. I don't usually take pre workout at all, but something about me today is just thinking, you know what, Joe? YOLO in it. So let's do it. Mm. Alright, I'm gonna show you outfit of the day. Alright, we're gonna do outfit of the day with Joey motherfucking D. None of this is sponsored. Nikes, we got some Vapor Max 2.0. I actually don't know if these are nice or horrible yet. I'm still on the fence. I think in a way they're like disgusting, but in a way they're actually fucking sick as well. Yeah, I got some Rise um, compression pants. I wasn't always a fan of these, but I like training legs in shorts just for the freedom and that. And then I found that when you're doing extensions or leg curls, sometimes you my skin was getting like pinched, you know, in the machine. And so I figured it's actually pretty cool doing them in like compression pants or something. Uh, Nike. Shorts, which is just from a vintage shop, actually. Vintage shops are a good shout to look for decent shorts. Uh, I just chopped the netting out of them as well because fuck netting. Nobody wants netting, mate. It's like having your dick in prison. Um, and it's a plain black, I think it's South Fleet tea. So we go going Ninja Vibe. Black head to toe, apart from the runners one. Yeah, that's slick. Oh, those blue skies, though, man. A serious shit, man. Uplifting vibe. Certainly not the kind of day you want to go and train legs on. But needs must because think ahead for the uh, strategic rest days that you're gonna put in. I might take one tomorrow. This means I just gotta get through a little leg session today. I'm fucking enjoying this walk though. My gym's like basically bang on a mile walk. From my house, so it's a decent like a few extra cows burned when you walk it there and back, which I do every day because there's no parking. So it means extra cows burned, means extra shred for Joey D, means extra fucking lean, extra likes on your Instagram pics. Everyone buys your shit, get rich, make it, buy good shit. Go on sick holidays in a bit. Boom, legs, yes sir. So we just got done with some lunges, this nice little track. Uh, 
probably the hardest and most enjoyable part of legs really. Kind of like that, that cardio element that you get from the, the fact that it's always so high rep. You're holding on to your dumbbells and that. Fucks you up to be honest and uh, I think cardio wise, it's like, it's a better endorphin hit, you know, than typical, uh, typical lower rep stuff. So anyway, next up I'm gonna just do my isolations. I'm gonna do this seated leg curl. Usually I'm not into seated leg curls because I find like the ergonomics of them just not ideal. Um, but this one's actually sick, I've tried it. I'm gonna nail this, extensions, calves, maybe a bit of glutes, fuck off, bosh. Chester, my mate's got a new tattoo place. Put the name on the screen. It's the geezer who did my tattoos. It's a tiny door, man. It's small. Fuck. It's like a school for ants. It has to be at least three times bigger. Anyway, yeah, we came to visit it. See what it's like. See his gaff now. I'll show you. He's got an owl. Where she goes down. Sick, mate. Uh, I'm gonna show you the owl. We'll do an owl bit. The entrance to the back, which takes you straight up to the top, mate. The rest of it's just an office building. Mate, it's a legit owl. Are you chilling there for a bit? So soft. I'm saying I've got some music on. Bit of a Jesus. Fucking hell, this place is your one. Oh, mate, Crash Bandicoot's the one, lad. Remember when you used to get the mask on and you go. Tommy B original. Yeah, isn't that good? Tommy B original. Who remembers that? Only OGs remember that one. Let's see, that's not. Now tell them what's going on. We are driving to the Amalfi Coast. No, we're not. Babe. We are. We're going to shop for a drink. We are on the Amalfi Coast in Italy. Mags is pissed out of head to me. We're going to... She just got lost getting out of an apartment building. <laughs> I actually did. It was scary. What? So we are driving along the Amalfi Coast right now. Yeah, apparently I look like... What do you look like, babe? Lord Falkwood. Yeah, well, what? Now. I fucking got to see you, man. Joe looks like the... The prince out of Princess and Fiona. Oh, Shrek. Look. Shit, I'm, this is an illegal maneuver one. <laughs> Fuck me. Joe's head is a. Shit, that head. was an illegal. My head's what? The turtle head. So we're on the move to get. What are we going for? You want a drink? You said you want a nice refreshing drink. I want a nice refreshing drink, like a, a Rabina. A Rabina. A Rabina. Okay, let's just leave the car here and go. Still open, yeah. Look at him. Joe looks like a tit. What? Cheeky ho. Right, let's go. Do you know what you look like? What? Do you know the uh look, look at the camera? What? You look like the turtle out of uh Lord Falkward and the little tail man. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, babe? <laughs> Babe, 
Yeah, it's the yellow one, yeah. Get one if you want. <laughs> hey everyone. It got grey. We did a one day climate transformation. And now it's, it's pretty nasty. It's alright, because we're going to have a Sunday-ish Sunday. Maybe Sunday. there's a bullet in my chest He told me not to call you away Oh, it's me. Yeah. Thanks, babe. Yeah, I think it's on purple. Looks great. The number one rule of eating any egg yolk is you have to boomerang it. Oh my god. Oh. That was one of the best mouthfuls I've ever had. Straight egg yolk and bacon. White bread's actually way better as well, isn't it? Like for eggs and bacon, I think. Anyone? No. Just, yeah, just generally anyone. Check those clouds out. My arm looks dead long. Take your hands off. Okay. 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 I'm gonna drop, yeah! Oh, oh. <laughs> Sorry. Oh god. Oh. Oh. Sorry. I didn't need you with this. Blunt trauma. <laughs> We're gonna do some cooking for a change. I'm actually gonna take charge. Because the mags always cooks for me, so it sounds like be a nice lad as he try and cook for her for once. And I'm making roasted cauliflower with it's like a it's like a Middle Eastern vibe, man. It's like tahini and pomegranate and shit. Also want to make some turkey mince meatballs. I'm gonna take you through it because I might fuck you up. I'll just show you when it's done. Shit, now this is the cauliflower. Got roasted collie with parsley, lemon juice, tahini and Greek yogurt sauce. Then we got some turkey meatballs. Oh mate. Ruthless. See you in a bit. Bye. We wouldn't leave without an eating shot. To be honest, I fucking roasted a jumper. <laughs> Don't cook in an oversized jumper. Alright, I wanna get some I wanna get some of everything on. I wanna get the pomegranate, the tahini. Roasted collie. Next level shit. It's fucking great. I don't know because I cooked it like so. Mags is it tidy? Oh, it's so nice. It's actually beautiful. You can Surprised. put the camera down here if you want. <laughs> There's a price. <laughs> it's actually better than I thought. It's actually so nice. It's really good. Try the meatball yet? No. The hot. What's the news? It's turkey mince, spices, onion, mm. garlic. That's it really. Oh, I forgot to buy bread gum, bread crumbs, right? Oh. And me, and me, me mix was too fucking like soggy and shit. And I was like, why is this? Why is this going on? And I was like, shit, you're supposed to put bread crumbs in. So I fucking I cut some like dead thin slices of that loaf, put oh, them yeah. in the bottom of the oven, <laughs> and then bashed them up inside some cling film. Oh, nice. that. What a scene. Alright babe, let's do it. Okay, I feel like that's a stick close to me. Okay. Hi hey, everyone, today is what day is it babe? Today is Wednesday, we're going all day in Thursday. On Thursday, that's tomorrow morning. What I thought I'd do was just to take you through some of the clothes that I'm taking with me. Just get it all out of the way, so then when people are saying, Joe, where'd you get them shorts from? Where'd you get that shirt from? 
Everyone already knows, so I'm just saving you time. Just being a nice guy. Right, let's start with shorts. I'm gonna whittle these down because this is way more than a week's worth of shorts. But these are called Alessi Tortoretto. I'll put it on the screen so that you can search it on Google. This is they're just feeler swimmers, man. They look cool, don't they? I think. I hope they're cool. Iconic, semi-iconic retro Adidas from. I think it's like Pop Boutique or another like vintage shop. I don't see wide as fuck, but that's the time. Almost too short, if that's even possible. More or less a Tortoretto. I might even take the ones I've got on, which are like champion ones from um, Top Man. And then we got a couple of like dressy kind of shorts. Uh, I don't know where they're from, they're from ASOS. ASOS, ASOS. Alright, that's it for shorts. We also got two like tanks. The same, but one is uh, blue and one's white. These are both from Topman, and they're both fucking massive, man. Because if you're gonna wear tanks and stuff, they should be like a bit big for you, I think. Uh, we got some iconic shirts. We've seen them before. Again, vintage shop, old Zara, right? This was like Zara about three years ago. So when people say where'd you get it from, and I say Zara, you're still probably not gonna find it. I don't, I don't think so anyway. This, however, is. Currently in Zara. I wish I was getting paid to do this, I should be it. Alright, we got a white shirt. Reese. Fucking brewskis, mate. You need a good white shirt, I think. A good white shirt is like an essential for when you do nice stuff with your bird. And this is a new one I got today from River Island. I wasn't sure about it, but then I put it on and I was sure about it, so I bought it. I bought it. It's like a African vibe. That's it for shirts and shorts. Everything else is pretty basic, I'm not going to go through tees. These pants, I also get asked about a lot. Just from Top Man. Again, it's all high street shops. Anyway, last thing. Some sunnies. Because, I had a pair that were just like these. And, I was in Thailand. And I jumped off a rock, into the sea, with the mummy face. I didn't even realise until I watched my GoPro footage afterwards. Same. Take him, babe. Mm hmm. Good. That's all that matters. Alright, that's it. We're going to Turkey. Might see you there. Something else I didn't mention. I've been cutting for the last, like, well, I did mention it in the last video, but not recently. Not now. Basically, I got lean ish. Kind of lean. I'll show you in Turkey, though. Jordan Lenny is my hero.